Well that looks about right, so let's fire it up and see if it works. Waiting for some parts to come in so I can work on uh, the EX2 Mini that's got a burnt out ESC. So here's the original 4 in 1 ESC board, and you can probably see down the bottom that the uh, right hand, right hand rear uh, is where it's burnt out. And what I've been waiting for is this, which uh, Sergi recommended, having done a similar mod, and the way that's going to fit in is it's going to go like that. Um, 
It means I'm going to have to cut a bit of plastic out of the bottom to make it fit. Um, the other part I've got I'm going to use with this repair. This is a 4-in-1 ESC board from a Bug 6, which I've subsequently lost. But what I will reuse is the EX30, XT30 um, lead. I'll desolder this and attach it to the back of that board there. So what I'm going to have to do then is solder up um, three wires for each motor. I've got to link up the four control wires coming out of here to the uh, four control wires going to the flight control board there and the black and the red wire coming out of this plug where is it? There it is. These two wires here are going to be connected to the ground and the, the live coming off the flight control board there. So power is going to come in the back, uh, go through the flight control board plus the control wires. So that's the theory and hopefully from what I've seen um, the motors will be in the right sequence. If they're not, I can move, start moving wires around. So, the first step is, is I'm going to cut out the, uh, the back of it a bit, so that'll just sit down in there. So, wish me luck. That sticks down to right movement is to calibrate the gyros, which is not actually implemented on the bugs on the protocol deviation protocol used on the uh, the jumper. But then again, I don't seem to miss it. The, the gyro seems perfectly fine. Ouchie! So it's just used in the original uh, jumper controller uh, for initial testing even though I'll be flying with a jumper. And a red light in the centre of the USC board comes on when it's got to fix this thing down. That's right it. Okay, so, so this is a fairly elementary um, test that the props are spinning the right way. That's now um, simply by holding a piece of newspaper underneath and uh, revving it up, and you soon see if they're uh, you're getting downdraft from each of the props. Because it's quite difficult looking at the props um, to be quite sure which way they're spinning. Okay, the red light shows that that's bound. So what I'm going to do now is hold it. And well, here's my able assistance with a piece of newspaper or catalogue. And away we go with rev revving it up a bit. That's well, kind of odd. I've got some wires on the wrong terminals at this point, and although all the props are spinning in the correct direction, um, the whole thing is unbalanced. So when I was throttling it up, the whole thing would just slip over. It's quite frustrating until I realised what was going on. This is different from what it's So, and finally, a shout out to Sergi, who responded to one of my videos and gave me the idea for this whole project. So, thanks again, mate. Really appreciate it.